Hello sis and future and sis, welcome back to my YouTube channel and on today's episode we am going to teach you how to catheterize a female patient, right? And remember before you continue you um, catheterize a patient you have to introduce yourself during OSCE examination you don't you just have to introduce yourself let the patient know who the person the person that is taking care of him or her right so introduce yourself explain the procedure and obtain informed consent so now for example um, good morning miss helen i'm nurse clement and i'm here to take care of you i'll be your nurse for today and i'm going to pass catheter remember you were unable to pass urine right so i'm here to pass catheter to you do you have any allergy for latex do you have allergy for iodine any antiseptic please let me know if you do or you don't okay so i'm going to use such an antiseptic and then lattice catheter to pass uh, through your urethra to to empty your bladder hmm? can you tell me your full name or oh, you are helen benedict all right can you tell me your date of birth 15 march 1999 okay it's fine so I can I go ahead and perform the procedure okay thank you for consenting to this procedure so the next thing is for us now is for you as the person that is carrying out the procedure to perform hand hygiene so now I have performed a hand hygiene I'm going to put on my sterile glove so this is my sterile glove remember and catheterization is a sterile procedure and my requirements have been set already remember during OSCE you are expected to set your requirements so these are my requirements for this procedure don't forget be careful so that you will not contaminate the glove yeah so I've done this are my requirements I have penetrated drip all of them are sterile and I have my sterile swab I have the solution water sterile water to inflect the balloon in the catheter so now you have to clean the vulva area clean the vulva area dip the swab in the clean right and drop in the receiver for use swab and clean the labia minora also drop the use swab in the receiver for use swab also clean again and again so we are done cleaning of course it may be a two nursing procedure ask your assistant to help you lift the patient's buttocks remember in this procedure you have to allow your patients to lie down dozer with the knee flex right so my assistant help me lift the patient's buttocks and i place a sterile drip under the patient remember it's the sterile procedure also you place the penetrated drip the patient's vagina well then remember we have changed the glove of course during catheterization you have to change the glove after cleaning the patient's vagina then you change to another sterile glove right so i have changed my glove and i placed the sterile um penetrated drips then now also i asked my assistant remember this is our catheter so you remove this later this way let's see discard it in a receiver for you so ask my assistant to drop a lubricant so in this case i'm going to use ky jelly so i lubricate the catheter paying attention to the eye of the catheter not to block it with the lubricant right already i have asked my patients whether if she has any allergies to lactose or any disinfectant of which you said no so now use your non-dominant hand open the labia minora and majora and insert the catheter in right inside the urethra so as you're doing that you're pulling make sure to also put a sterile receiver 
in case of backflow, much backflow of car of urine, right? So now we have inserted the catheter, remove the plastic and inflate the balloon. I'm using 15 ml of sterile water to inflate the balloon of this catheter. So now as you can see, and try to pull back to make sure that the catheter is in place or the balloon is well inflected, right? So now we are done. Remember I'm done with the procedure. So I can connect the urine back to the catheter. So I connect the urine back to the catheter and I discard the used equipment, making sure that I secure the catheter to the patient's thighs. I secure using plaster. Please note that you are not expected to leave, allow catheter to go under the patient's thighs. Always allow the catheter to be on the patient's thigh above and make sure that the urine back is below the patient's level so that it can drain well. So as you can see, you can also put it this way so that the patient. So now I am done. So I'm done with the procedure. I, can, I will make my patients comfortable. I'm making my patients comfortable. The patients did not express any discomfort or pain. So now remember, after doing this procedure, you have to document. Document, while you're documenting, you have to document the color of the urine, the quantity, is there any, um, is there any particles in the urine? How, is there any pause, right? So you have to document and document the time that which you have passed the catheter to the patient. And any other observation, remember any procedure that you did not document as a student nurse or nurse, that means that procedure has not been carried out. So ensure that after each procedure, you document your, your you document the procedure, you wash and dry your hands, and then you are done with the procedure. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. I still remain not Clement B. Bye.